Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone. Thank you for watching this video. So in this video, we will discuss about the Bootstrap Framework. The Bootstrap Framework is one of the front-end technology in the web development. It is the most popular open source front-end technology. So when we talk about the front-end, it's referred to the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So this framework is open source framework and use in order to develop a responsive web application or web type a mobile first project on the web it is open source it includes html base css base design template so basically if you want to use a template for designing your interface use this wood strap framework so it content of the typography the forms the buttons tables application images and more okay as well as optional javascript plugin provide the javascript plugin. so this framework was developed by jacob thornton and mark Otto. So this is the symbol of the bootstrap you can use this bootstrap in order to design your interface okay the next part there are three main files in the bootstrap the first one we have the css file so bootstrap.css this one for the css framework second one we have bootstrap.js JS is referred to JavaScript, so it's for the JavaScript framework. And the third one, Glypercon. Okay, this one, a font, format for the font, and icon for the font set, set of a uh, font. So Bootstrap requires a jQuery to function. It is, uh, this part, for the additional part and then jquery simplify and adds and cross browser compatibility to the javascript that is the function for the jquery so inside the bootstrap package we have several things okay the first one we have the scaffolding okay this package is a basic structure with the grid system link style and background so you can uh, formatting your interface based on this grid system link style and the background the second part it has the css cascading style sheet the html element style extensible class and advanced system the next one the components are uh, reusable component so we have the iconography the drop down the navigations and many more and it also have the javascript plugin so uh using this javascript plugin or jquery plugin you can easily include all the them all of them as one or one at a time into your design and then the next part is customization so the ability to customize the bootstrap component when you do designing so this part less variable need and jquery plugin to get your very own version so you can customize your own component okay using the bootstrap framework there are several advantages these are the advantages that you can get when you try to implement or apply the bootstrap framework uh, in your website designing yep. the first one is ease 
to use so easy to use so you can just call it uh work like the css format how you formatting you just can call uh, the class name so a lot of time and effort can be saved when using the bootstrap Redefine design template and classes it already have the classes so you can just call the class inside the html tag element second it is responsive so bootstrap give you the ability to easily create the responsive design of your web page so the responsive features make your web pages appear correctly on different device and screen okay we have uh desktop we have that we have mobile phone so the responsive uh, features inside the bootstrap allow you to resize your uh, browsers you can make it maximum size minimum size medium size it will follow your screen so, so the, resolution, the resolution of your uh, screen Okay, the next part is consistent in design. So all bootstrap components share the same design templates and the style to a central library. So that the designs and layout of your web pages are consistent. The consistency is one of the golden rules. In the, you need to follow the consistency when you design something. Must, you must make sure that interface is consistent so easy for your user to navigate and or to your website okay, the next part is compatible with the browsers we know current technology we have a lot of browsers from Mila, Firefox, Microsoft, Internet Express of uh, browsers outside there so this bootstrap is compatible with browsers so easy when you develop you can uh, view well, several browsers and then last but not least it is open source and completely free and can be downloaded so yeah, I give you some example on the bootstrap code. And basically, at uh, the link reference here, you can include the link of bootstrap for Java, for Ajax, for CSS. Yeah, this part. And then basically, you can just call the class name. Okay, for example, okay, let's say here under the IB, I just call class equal to jumbotron text uh, dash center. So your text will be center. Okay, and then uh, the next one, H1 class text dash black dash 15. So this give a uh, your text color in black this one give a uh, center your line okay so basically you can just call the class so the several class you can uh, refer to the bootstrap website so that's all for the bootstrap system. so based on this code at the end it look like this one yeah, example look like this one easy for you to develop your it help you to the consistent development so that's all for this video thank you and assalamualaikum